fancy a riddle? If you fancy a boot to the head. Riddle solved. Whatever's making these footprints, it knocked over those trees like they were twigs. Be careful. I am always careful. Ha! <laughs> oh, bloody hell. You're serious. <laughs> well done. Well, I don't suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Jewelry. Oh? Put it on one of my horns. Let's see if I can pull it off. No. This way! Oh! Cut him off! <laughs> I'm about to get knocked around a bunch, aren't I? Hey, Mimir. Do you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah. Is he, like, charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No. Just a weird bloke. There we are. No more droger ends, no more hertha. One less thing to worry about. You worry? Oh, never while you're around, oh warrior of rippling muscle. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling. Have fun in there? We are at war. Fun does not enter into it. Well, that's clearly a lie. I have to say, quite a nice change of pace helping these stags get home. For a moment, I was worried we'd have to kill them. Yes. You had a plan to kill it if it had attacked, didn't you? Yes. <gasps> Locked gate. Could be something useful in there. Could also be nothing. You know, I'm missing my body. If I can see the bright side, surely you can too. This is truly thankless work. It must be done. I'm sure the civilians were protecting would thank us. Well, thank both of you. Me, they would just point at and scream. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. It is over. Maybe now, life in this valley can flourish again. I hope so. Vanaheim has suffered enough. It will prove resilient. How are you so sure? Lands tend to reflect the ones who care for it most. Was that a compliment? I have it too. <sighs> See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck! Kratos! Throw me at him! Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> Well, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. All right, let's see what we've got here. Tell me about your army. Oh, hey, you're looking at it. What, you five? Against Odin's army? Well, six, if you count the dog. Oh, fuck me. Yep. Ah, back to smashing through things for fun and profit. Lovely. Isn't it nice how Fimble Winter wore down all the helpful magic we acquired? Yet somehow new terrors only flourish. That's a fun cue. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree, and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. <sighs> the whetstone of the Night Ripper. When resisting an occupation, sometimes the most obvious methods are the best. It is old. No longer of use. But enough about you. I'm talking about the whetstone. 
You said Ragnarok is coming. Which means Balder. Balder is dead. Odin sent him to track down a giant in Midgard. And then he found Kratos and... Anyway, I promised to take these two to the tallest peak in the realms if they'd chop off my head and convince Freya to bring it back. Come here. Speak of Balder. I was getting to that. It wasn't all kill this, kill that. Sula. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Su na. Lovely. Working together is already opening doors for us. Ugh. Is he always making puns like that? The oarsmen. Ugh. A monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. Mia. Yeah. You may tell a story, if you wish. Am I preferable to silence at last? A rare day. I'm touched. But since you mention it, there has been one on my mind of late. It goes back to my earliest days, when I had little more to do than observe the mortals who passed through our forest. One summer, a local laird of renowned eccentricity chose to sequester himself with a small coterie of kinsmen and followers. The aim of their woodland retreat was to achieve enlightenment through study and discipline. They took oaths to brook no distractions until they became wise men. Distractions? Ah, women, drink. Mostly women. As you can imagine, things deteriorated quickly. By autumn, tempers were frayed and wisdom remained in short supply. One day, I watched as the laird and his brother took their hunt. There they found, at the banks of a river, a lady as fair as any they'd left behind. She pleads for their assistance for fear the currents would carry her off if she tried to cross. The laird doesn't miss a beat. He hoists her onto his shoulders, carries her across, sets her down, doffs his cap, and fords back across to his brother, who is dumbfounded, can't even bring himself to speak. The day stretches on, the laird carries on hunting, and his brother quietly gnashes his teeth down to powder. Finally, the dam breaks. Brother, he cries, how could you do it after everything we've sacrificed? How could you break your vow like it was nothing? Carrying that lass on your shoulders like you were a Shetland pony. The laird just smiles. Brother, I set that lass down across the river. Tis you that carries her still. <laughs> oh, I got a chuckle. A rare day indeed. <laughs>